Eric Freen is accused of murdering a state trooper and wounding another last month. The state police commissioner says Freen, quote, was dedicated to killing law enforcement members. Prosecutors say they want to see Freen convicted and then executed. Eric Freen evaded capture for nearly seven weeks. But the Pennsylvania State Police say in the end, the self-taught survivalists gave up without a fight. Yes. Tonight, our first look inside the abandoned airport hangar where alleged cop killer Eric Freen was hiding out. Debris on the floor, graffiti on the walls, and right there, a dirty mattress surrounded by a torn up menu board. Authorities now saying it's exactly the kind of place a fugitive would hide, potentially for weeks. The hangar, 35 miles from where Freen allegedly ambushed and murdered Trooper Brian Dixon on September 12th. Let's go check it out. Yeah, what is up, explorers? Today we're inside this honeymoon resort here in the mountains. Now, there's many more abandoned honeymoon resorts in this area. There's like, I, I want to say literally like 15. Um, they all began to decline around the same time in fall. This one in particular has some crazy history in it. There was a cop killer that was actually hiding out in, in one of the resorts, and it happened to be this resort right now. They actually built an airplane runway deep into the forest, and he was actually hiding out in there, but it was connected to this. People would fly in here and just get out for a romantic getaway right here in this place. Now this resort had um, nightclubs, swimming pools, bowling alleys, a casino. It was popping. It, um, it opened up in the early 1950s and closed in the 1990s. So yeah, we're out here, let's explore it. This place is literally just sitting here, frozen in time. Everyone just drives by it and just keeps moving. There's a lot here. So we're just gonna kind of keep on hitting buildings and buildings so we find interesting stuff to film. But yeah, it's super cold out here, everything's dead. These singular houses, these were the honeymooners. I definitely think this resort's pretty prime. I'm sure they had like duckies or something they were like paddle boarding around here with. Let's go inside one of these, check out the structure, get an idea of how it looked. Everything is so overgrown. I'm going in. Ugh. Cool symbol. Nice, so each room had a fireplace. Imagine waking up and just looking out to your lake in the forest. Hey, got the pink bathroom. Dude, they made their coffee over here. Oh, they had like a little jacuzzi hot tub in it. And unfortunately, there is no heart or love shaped beds here. Remember, explorers, if you've been watching me for over a year, we covered some of them and they had hot heart tub shaped beds inside. Or I think it was heart tub jacuzzis. One or the other, but I actually think they had both inside. Those were rare and I love to find those. They're, they're epic to film. So since all the houses are pretty much the same, I'm gonna keep moving on to a different side of this place. There's a lot to cover, so we'll keep it going. Probably gonna head down there more. Nice little pool. This was probably like the bar area. Get your drinks. People probably went up top and started screaming and partying. For some reason, people love to throw stuff in the pool. It's like a thing. There's a ladder in there, like 30 chairs are in the bottom of there. Looks like the Titanic in there. Yeah. We just found more information about this place. She'll take it from here. This is funny. Yeah, um, it was known for having spankers parties. So people would come and pay like $500 to just come here and have fun with other adults. And it would just be like this whole like bond bondage, par <laughs> bondage party and spankers club. So I guess look into that. I, I never heard about it until I read an article on it from yeah, here. But it's really funny though. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> spankers. <laughs> spankers parties. Wow. Yeah, we're inside one of the main halls now, or main buildings, I guess. I wonder if this is all tuned up and working. 
It's really cold, but it's killing it. Oh, we have a bar. Hey, little pirate swords. Shoo, 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 shoo. Damn. Oh, it's caving in. It's sinking down into the darkness. Oh, damn. Dude, this looks sick. Well, every day it's breakfast from 9 to 11 a.m. You don't even have to put the dates on it. Even Mondays, 9 to 11 a.m. They're all the same. Yo, there's a bowling alley around here we have to find. Uh, yeah, I gotta look around to see where it is. I didn't find it yet either. Soon we're heading across the street. That's where all the other crazy stuff is. Don't know what's over there though, but I hear it's crazy. Yo, someone wrote the cop's killer name. These are people who actually stayed here? And it says, first time I ever saw your face was dot dot dot, and it shows pictures right here. Apparently this side's closed. But remember I did talk about that there's an airplane hangar and stuff around here. So this is like, I guess maybe their bar below. That's what I've been told already. Gonna have to go full bright for this. Oh, dude, you scared me, bro. <laughs> Came up from the darkness. You like this? Yeah, this is sick. Nice. Oh. Yo. Oh, this is the hot spot. You need a drink? Yeah, dude, I do. I got you. This a is. Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, I really like this spot. This is probably the best bar in the, in the whole uh, resort. All right. Justin's taking pictures. He want our lights. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, you see that? You get to see the red airplanes right there. Looking over the farmlands and stuff. Dude, right above this is their dining hall. They got a little dance floor right there. Eventually today, we're gonna be going to the airplane strip. So literally we're crossing the street to the other half. <laughs> it's so cool. And right here, it says right there, front office and registration. So this is where we can go see what's in. So this is definitely the main lobby area. I'm literally slurring my words here. My mouth is so dry. My nose is stuffed. My ears are blocked. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get better if I keep going out and filming. I gotta take a break after this. Dude, what the heck's this? Yo, you could go that side, or you could take the fast, the fast, the fast way. <laughs> Which one you want to take, John? <laughs> oh hell no! That's really steep. Do you gotta make a jump for it, John? Dude. And by the time you jump down over there, you're gonna fall through the floor anyway. <laughs> Dude, I got my wings, guys. Just believe in me. I'm gonna find another way. I'll meet you there. Alright, here you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll just meet him there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's Holy a pool. Shoot. Yep. Oh, these floors. They're barely bad? Uh, nah, it just looked bad that corner. But they're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a huge pool. Yeah, look at the basketball. Yeah. Look at the designs on the place. With the eagles everywhere, the eagle with the hearts. They're all over all of them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna show John. John's over there trying to risk his life. <laughs> we just walked in, John. Look, those lights are on, these lights over here are on. What the heck? I can't believe they actually still have power in here. Hey, this was their gift shop. I love how every resort here has a gift shop. All the ones we've been to in the past couple of years. I'm sure they had tons of little like hearts shaped things right here lined up. Maybe a couple books. Maybe brochures in the back over there. Check out these lights, they're actually heat lamps. The only reason why I knew is because of these things and Christy said it. But, <laughs> look at that. Man, they're getting creative back in the day. Get your heat on right here and look out. You just turned them on, you hear it? Yeah, I know, I did turn it on.
Hey, the gym boys! Oh, come on! I just banged to the door! Yo! Where are you guys? Okay. Dude, the gym's sweet! Oh, it's an actual gym. Oh. I'm, I've actually been working out nonstop. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm Ooh. coming. Ugh. Oh, man. Hey, you gotta work out somehow, huh? Yeah, I know. Seriously, I haven't done the gym in a week. Yeah. It feels good, though. You should try it. You got a full send, huh? Wait, it's an unshot shotgun shell? It's an unshot shotgun shell, look at that. Oh yeah, dude. That, that's a full shotgun shell. Dude. Yo, I just found that. So right here they shot all the arrows? Yeah. And on this side is where they shot the shotguns and the nine millimeters. Oh really? Yup. You can check, check the bullets out, man. Oh, they did shoot guns, because look, I just found another uh, shell. This one's empty. Oh, these are bullets. Yep. Empty bullet shells. That slate wall in the back. Oh, you're right. Look, they're everywhere. Yep. There are bullet shells everywhere. Holy crap. Check out the, the glitter of the gold everywhere as you walk. Well, I'm going to ditch everyone and head to the bowling alley. Let's get it. Got to ditch the team. Yeah. Hey, boy. Found it. This is sick. Hey, the calendar, the calendar says 2000, October 10th. This house looks a bit different. The fireplace is upstairs. You got this cool little walkway showing off the lake. And then down below is where you're sleeping and stuff. That's, this is actually a really cool setup. A all red dock bridge. Completely destroyed. Uh. Yo. Right, this is as far as I'm walking to. But just check it out. We're completely ditching this whole place now. We're heading to the freaking airfield. No. <laughs> Bro, it's an airfield. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. I love this whole place, man. It's so quiet here. The nature's nice. This whole place has a great feeling when you walk through it. Nice vibe. That old 80s feeling, man. Imagine if there's an airplane still inside. Let's go check it out. Wait. Right here. We're in the hangar. We're in. So there may not be any airplanes in here, but there's tons of cars. And I never seen a Pontiac Fiero before until I came here. Because I had no idea what this was until Mo told me. But it's really interesting. You guys want to tell the others about this place? They'll find it. <laughs> they know it's here. They don't want to tell me about it. It's all spray painted up and stuff. but It's all fiberglass too. I definitely think they were doing like drag races with it. But check out all these other ones. We definitely filmed a lot in today's video. The sun's about to come down, but we had to check out the runway. Now it's time to end the video. Explorers, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out Mo. Yo. Check out John. Yo, yo. And check out RNK all day. He's somewhere out there. So I don't know where he is right now. He's definitely probably taking pictures in the basement or something of the bar. But yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was actually really cool. I can't believe all this stuff is even over here. It's everything in an abandoned place I've always wanted in one spot. So this is really cool. Um, yeah, definitely check out the merch and just get out there and explore. Peace out. Yeah.